Hey everyone and welcome back. So I know I've spent a lot of time talking about, you know, components, styles, and all those different types of features that Figma offers, but they play a much larger important role when we're thinking about design systems. And I want to just talk briefly about what is a design system and why do we use one? So a lot of people give a different name to design systems. A lot of people like to call them UI toolkits and you know, that's okay. I mean, that's what they kind of are. A design system is more so involving your larger and broader team. You know, your development team is helping making those changes and implementing those systems that you've created. So what I want to show you is how I use a design system within Figma and why it's important. So this is a design system I've created for our client called Habitual. Now I've separated it into, if we look over to the left here, I've separated it into three different sections. Now, this isn't a full entire design system. There's much more you could possibly even add to this, but this is enough to definitely get you started and definitely get you creating a bunch of different pages. Now, what I've done here is there is this section called the foundation, which houses all the styles that we're gonna use throughout the application, including uh, certain components, which I'll get into. We have the components section, Think of the component section like a section of like atoms. And when you build up atoms, they create larger components. This section, which I call recipes. Now, the difference between all these different things is components will use the foundation and recipes will be more complex components that use a bunch more components uh, together. It may be a bunch of like cards together. It may be a bunch of like check boxes. That's what I would call a recipe. And they also use things from the foundation to bring this all together. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you some examples of foundation and components and recipes in later videos. We'll go into how to create individual pieces for this design system. So your foundation will house things like colors and these are your main styles. So these are the colors for the application. You can see that I've broken them into different sections and if we go down to the right, we'll see all our local styles and these are color styles. Let's get into actually typography. We have typography and remember how we were creating that type system. This is just more fully fledged. We have different headings. You can see here, we have different text options. So body, large, small, regular labels, hints, which are displayed over here on the right. And uh, these are all different styles. I have icons, 24 pixel and 16 pixel variants. I have grids, let's turn those on so you can see the different types of grids I'm using. Mostly these are just for the entire mobile screen. And all these are used just so we can actually start building components as well. So if I go over to the component section, I have avatars and different versions of avatars. You'll see that there is a base layer here and I'll get into that later. There's different types of buttons that we will be using. There's cards over here, different types of cards that we have. Check boxes. So as you can tell, there's so many different types of components that we're making and reusing. Even in our recipe section, if we take a look at something like cart, we have different types of cart lists. We have different types of like footers. So these types of things are definitely ways to implement your recipes. So in our next video, we're going to go over how to work with different types of elements in the foundation of your design system.